I'm here with Judy Belcher of Fire Mountain Gems and Beads, and also we have Sarah joining us today, who's going to be our lovely model. And Judy, you're going to be showing us how to do something really fun. Yep, just for the teens. Uh -huh. Well, well, no, yeah, yeah true, okay. true. We're going to give a little <laughs> switch there. Uh huh. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with is a two and a quarter inch piece of velvet. Now, what are we making? Oh, are they good charms? Grief. No, <laughs> no, it's jeans jewelry. Jeans jewelry. Just to do that. A little extra accent okay. uh, for teenagers' jeans. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start with our two and a quarter inch piece of velvet and ribbon clamps. Mm -hmm. And all you do to close those is we're going to put a little bit of glue right along the top. Okay. Not too and much, then, right? Yeah, you don't need too much mm -hmm. because the clamp really does hold it, but that's just for security. Yeah. You know, those teens, they just shake around a lot. <laughs> I do okay. a little bit of shaking myself. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to take some chain nose pliers. Just clamp it down. And clamp it down. And that'll hold just fine. And mm -hmm. here's one that I finished. Oh, good. Now we wanted to add some bling. That's Teens right. Teens love that bling. Got to have so it. So we're going to put some droplets of glue and add some Austrian crystals, and then it'll look just like this. Oh, that's pretty. And so just a little bit of glue, and it's going to adhere mm -hmm. perfectly. Yeah. Great. Now we're going to add the frame because we got that boyfriend and we want to show him <laughs> off. So instead of gluing down the frame, I want to stitch it on. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little surprise about that later. Okay. So we're going to put that right on there and just do a couple little stitches to hold it right, so right the top. through the top. Like right through the top there. loop okay. and then right into the velvet underneath. Oh. Okay. So then it looks just like and this. And you could just find those frames anywhere. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Then we're just going to use a uh, um, jump ring. Mm -hmm. And a seven station ring. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to add the charms to. And then another jump ring. And we want a big enough lobster clasp to fit over our belt loop. Okay. So we need an extra big one. Okay. And this is why we wanted to sew it on. So we could flip it up and add oh. our picture of little Aaron. Great. Now, is that your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> and I shouldn't have said little Aaron. <laughs> Lovely Aaron. Okay, now I'm going to add the charms. Okay. So we've got a whole bunch of choices of different letter charms mm -hmm. out on the, uh, in the catalog. And so we're going to use uh, jump rings and then these little clasps, but they're self-closing clasps. Mm -hmm. So all you do is just pinch them right onto the seven ra uh, station ring. Okay. And you probably can't see that, but they open and close on their own. So you don't so you need to fuss with them that almost much. Almost like a little mini lobster claw. That's right. That's extent. right. Okay. So we're going to add that to the A. And then he loves baseball. Mm -hmm. So we want to show off his baseball skills. And so then it spells out Aaron. And you just hook those along the seven station ring. Mm -hmm. And then you end up. Wow. There it is finished. It doesn't seem like it's going to take too long to do. No. And you can really personalize it. So you can use the letters, you know, to spell whatever you right, want to. Right, or if they or change to football, mm -hmm. you can change it to a football. Then we thought it'd be really cute to add a belt to hook to the side and the back belt loop. And so we've spelled out Aaron again mm -hmm. and added all his favorite sports. Well, let's take and a look at Sarah. Yeah, that's what Sarah's And Sarah's, Sarah's wearing it. Look at how terrific that looks. I mean, it just adds something extra to just your average pair of jeans, doesn't it? It does. It uh -huh. does. Now, Sarah, tell us what happens if you change your boyfriend. Well, all you have to do is change the photo <laughs> and the terms. That's and right. And there you go. Ready because made a new boyfriend. <laughs> that's right. Because you've got those little self-closing claws. You can just switch out those letters quick. And you know what, Sarah? The one that Sarah's wearing now, it doesn't even have a picture frame on it. So you can do so many different varieties. That's right. We're going to show right. some of those, too. Well, and I got a little jealous because I thought, I want a little bling, but I don't really want to draw attention mm -hmm. to that area. And so I thought, <laughs> well, I'll just wear it on my purse. That would make, make a nice little purse charm. Oh, okay. and, and Sarah's wearing that, too. Yeah. She's got it on her purse, and then I added one to mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are great. You know, I could put my dog. Yes, a that's a, my dog. And add your little doggy name to it. Now, look at all the charms, the different variety of charms that you can get. I mean, they're just so, right. you can really personalize it to whatever Any you want. Any type of charm. Yeah, I did a, a gardener's theme, mm -hmm. uh, going to the seashore. Look how you did this one with watch. Yeah. That's kind of a clever way, because you know, if you don't want to wear a watch on your wrist, you still have it on you, and you can just really look down Flip to see what the time is. Flip it up and look right at it. Look at that pretty flower. Yeah, and the charms come in gold and silver, so you mm -hmm. don't have to be limited to the silver. The one on the jeans with the gorgeous glass beads. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, back on the purse. And like you said, it's not just for teenagers. That's right. Because this would be something that I would wear, too. Good. Yeah, lots of fun. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. They're lots of fun. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thanks, Judy. Okay.